Uh, Michael Brightwell. My main barriers was confidence and self-esteem because I had no like self-esteem in myself. I didn't think I could do anything beforehand. And I tried to avoid people as much as I possibly could because I've never been a great fan of confrontation. I think a lot of reasons why young people struggle getting a job is either they lack the motivation to do it or they just have problems in general, like maybe they're scared of people or confidence. They just, they have no like self belief in themselves and they have even less confidence around others. I think it can just, without, like, it can grind people down a lot when they're trying to, like, apply. If it, they keep getting rejected and rejected and rejected, they just, eventually, I think they just give up, like, what's the point anymore? Young people need someone there just to help them make sure they're focused on what they want to do, even if it's just, like, a guiding hand to help them or someone to actually talk to. I think a lot of people feel like they're just stuck in a rock that they can't get out of. My mentors helped me by constantly pushing me and making sure I was doing things that I really didn't want to do, like being around people. And uh, she's been absolutely amazing. She's always been there, making sure I'm motivated, pushing me forward to do the things I really didn't like. I think Yaz has been different because it feels like the people here actually seem to like care and be motivated about the people they work with. They want to try and push people forward. It's not just part of their job, it's like they will try their absolute best to push whatever you want to do. They'll be there for you to help you. I think they should keep doing what they're doing because they're amazing. I think the personal budget has made a big difference with helping me be able to travel and get out and see new people and do new things and push myself. Before and I was very limited of where I could go and the things I could do as well but it makes her life a lot easier. Honestly, I, without the US project, I don't know if I'd still actually be here because I was at a very low point in my life. I pretty much gave up on a lot of things and they've kind of given me hope again and motivation to keep pushing forward. I now actually believe in myself and I believe I have a future now, which I didn't beforehand. I think it would be good for some people to have ongoing support with the mentors because it just helps to give them that little confidence that they know someone's still there to help them because they may be, like, get a bit worried about something. Maybe at least they'll have someone to talk to. You're still doing a good job, don't worry, keep going. I couldn't believe it at first. When I first landed my first job, I was I got had the phone call for it and you made it, you can come through. I was like, wow. <laughs> this is actually the start of something now. And I actually rang my mentor. Apparently she was running around the office crazy, going, he's got a job, he's got a job. Yeah, I've been loving it ever since now. I've not looked back ever since. I took the dive and best thing I ever did.